Hey everybody, this is Brett. And um, I just thought I'd make a video telling you guys how I'm dealing with this current situation. And it's pretty simple. I'm really dealing with it quite well because I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel based on the things I've seen throughout my life and how everything pans out eventually, you know. And the older you get, the more you realize that that's exactly what happens. Everything works its way out for the best. And yes, it can be really, really difficult, you know, and so much of, you know, the whatever can hit the fan and splatter everywhere <laughs> on the walls. And, and it's just a horrible situation, but, um, you know, what I've seen in my life and the current situation is that the extremes expose themselves. The extremes expose themselves and then they get cut off, they get released, they get destroyed. And so how I'm dealing with the situation is I'm making millet hole pillows. And I've just scheduled a Sunday night live to talk in depth about all the different things that I'm thinking about. And um, while I'm sewing my millet hole pillows today, I'll be writing down all the different things, the different topics that I'd like to cover. And so tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'll be having another Sunday night live. And it will come in crisp and clear because I'll be using Chrome instead of Firefox. <laughs> and we can talk about conspiracy theories and, and all kinds of things. We can talk about the people that got blocked yes, or a few days ago for making comments about how the, the uh, MAGAs, MAGAs were Antifa, blah, 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 and what idiots those people were. <laughs> See, all the idiots, they get exposed too. And, and there's really no sense in worrying about all of this because the truth rises to the surface. Now, there may, may be a lot of people out there that think that they can hide the truth. And they may be really smart, you know. They may be able to hide the truth for a long time. They may be actually able to hide the truth beyond our lives. Like, we may get to the end of our lives and we'll be like, man, I wonder what the truth was about that thing. And we may never know in this life. But creation knows everything. And like, do you guys have faith or what? If you don't have faith, then you're in trouble because the faith is what gives you an ability to know that all the rights are going to be held, all the wrongs are going to be righted. <laughs> They're all going to be held to truth. And so, yeah, this is just a quick video to let you know that how I'm dealing with all of this is faith and making millet hole pillows. And some of you don't have one of my millet hole pillows. And that is a travesty. That is a seriously deep trouble. Because if you have a head and if you have a neck and if you have shoulders, then you really need one of my millet hole pillows. And yes, they cost around $50, give or take a few dollars. But the truth of the matter is that if you want to sleep better and you don't want to be breathing chemicals and, and you want good support for your head, neck, and shoulders, what you really need is one of my Melt Hole Pillows. And you may be thinking about all of these conspiracy theories in your head. You may be thinking that the United States government is going to topple over and fall. And so you may be really worried at night and you might not even be able to sleep. But you'll be more comfortable while you're laying there worrying if you've got one of my mellow hall pillows. And eventually you might get to this point of where you're like, man, 
this thing is so comfortable that I don't even care about all those stupid worries. Who cares about Donald Trump? Who cares about the possibility of all half the police force and half of the National Guard being on Trump's side? Who cares about any of that? <laughs> we know the truth's going to rise to the surface. And as long as I've got this comfortable millet hole pillow, I don't even care. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm making millet hole pillows because I know that you guys really would love sleeping on them. And that's all I'm telling. I'm telling you that that's it. That's all I'm doing today. And writing down topics for tomorrow night, Sunday night live. So I want to thank you so much for joining me right now. If you purchase at least $25 worth of whatever on my site, and then you go to the little um, request box on the checkout page, you can put, I would like the free gua sha tool. In which case, I will put one of these gua sha tools, one of these mini, mini gua sha tools in there for free for you. You will get one for free. So the moral of the story is, besides that you should get one of my milk hole pillows, the moral of the story is that you figure out what you do best or you figure out what you can do for yourself that's the best today. And you don't worry about Donald Trump. <laughs> and for me, like in regards to him, what I've been doing is I've just been like making a statement. I go on Facebook and I'll make some kind of a statement about him. Like I've done with my videos. I'll tell you what I really think, what I truly, really think about Donald Trump. And then some goons, some Trump supporters, will say something, and then what happens to them? They get blocked. And then I don't have to hear from them ever again. Same thing with the Facebook friends that are still supporting him. I create a post, and then I simply wait for somebody to say something, like that Donald Trump's the greatest thing that ever happened to America. And, and I don't say anything back to them. I just block, see ya. <laughs> so all those people eventually just get isolated and released and removed. And then that's the end of them. I love my mill hole pillow and the arm one too. Are the travel pillows a little larger than the arm ones? The travel pillows are like quickie pillows, Wanda. They're quickie pillows that I make from the scraps. And they're durable. They'll last for a while, but they don't include a case. I'm not like um, sewing the insides of them with a hidden seam. So the inside, the inside seam on those is just, it'll just fray. But since you don't really, you're not, you're not really emptying the millet holes out of that ever. If you put a case on it, you'll be good. Then you don't have to worry about that. It's just a quickie pillow made from the scraps, sold for 12 bucks, and, and you can just enjoy it. Just enjoy it for what it is. It's the same size as an arm support pillow. It's just not made as good, and it doesn't come with the case. I'm just utilizing a resource, the scraps. See all these, see all these scraps? See all these scraps? Might as well do something with them, right? So that's what I do. I make no uh, travel, travel pillow. Look at this nice card that Joanna sent me from Canada. Isn't that nice? She sent that from Canada. And so, yeah, I just felt like talking to somebody so, and, you know, telling you what I'm doing. And, um, oh, and check it out. Now you can buy a leather softball for rolling on your butt. I've been rolling on mine. See this? I bought a whole box of them, and I get a deal when I buy a box of them. I sold two of them so far, and there's a box full of leather top balls, and I'm only charging $9 for them. It costs four to five bucks for shipping, but, but see, with one of those softballs, when you're sitting on your butt like that, 
your butt gets sore and tight. So you need a nice leather softball to roll on it. And you can do that like at least every other day, if not every day. And then you'll get rid of the tightness, the lactic acid in your butt muscles. And, you know, I'm not just buying a bunch of softballs for the fun of it. <laughs> I'm buying softballs so that you can roll on them on the floor. So you use the weight of your body. It's really simple. Gravity. All the things that I teach are really simple. Do I look like I'm like brilliant? <laughs> Do I look like I've got a really, really high IQ? Like President Obama has an IQ of 155. 155. Donald Trump has an IQ of about 110. <laughs> He's a complete freaking idiot. And I, I tested it once. I tested myself at 135, which isn't bad. 135 is not too shabby. But basically, I like to keep it simple. And with healing, simple is good. And natural things are simple. They're complex yet simple. And we need to really kind of get back. Get back. Get back. Get back to where you once belong. Get back, oh, get back, get back to where you once belong. I had two of the travel pillows in the checkout and then didn't finish the order. Wanda! <laughs> By the time I got back to ordering, they were sold. So I'll get back on and try to order. Here, Wanda, I'll show you what I've got. See them? They're right there. Look what I've got for you, Wanda, all ready to go. <laughs> I've got Eyes of the World, Sage Green, Stornetta Lavender. That's what I have available right now. Or... I can make some of these colors. Look, look, now I've got pink fields of honey. I can make a pink fields of honey uh, travel pillow for you. And I also have some that I can make like a half, I can make it half on that with that on one side and half green on the other side. Anyways, so yeah. Yeah, I hope that you guys join me for Sunday Night Live tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to get going on making a bunch of regular millet pillows. And everyone should have one. And Wanda, you should buy one for a gift, as a gift for somebody. Like, certainly you have some friends, don't you? <laughs> don't you know, don't you have anyone that loves you, Wanda? Well, you could buy one of my millet hole pillows for them. Doesn't anybody else have anything to say? Look, Wanda is the only one that said anything. Like, come on, you guys. I'm telling you, people that have real gumption, people that have like real brains and real opinions and stuff, those people make comments. And those are my favorites. Like, see, okay, so when I go to a video, if you look around on YouTube, you'll see that I've made a lot of mind-blowing comments that get thousands and thousands of thumbs-ups and comments back to me. And some people don't like me, and that's cool. But the reality is that people that have personalities, people that have pizzazz, you know what I'm talking about? These are the people, the, the go-getters like me that make the world freaking turn around. And so many people are just like, I can, I can imagine them watching me right now. <clears throat> Honey, grab me another beer. I'm watching that dumb SOB, Brett Rogers.
The Simpsons is on in 30 minutes. You want to watch it with me? <laughs> like brainless freaking people. They're just like, you know, like make a comment for God's sake. Put a put a real picture of yourself. Even if you're an ugly mother effer, just put a real picture of yourself as the pro profile. You know, like be a be a real person. I was just talking to made a comment on Facebook. I said, look, if you take some kind of an implement and you cut your arm open, just cut your arm open and look at what's inside. You'll see meat, bones, blood, arteries, veins, connective tissue, and fat, right? So like how long do you think this is gonna last? It's not, it's not gonna last. It's gonna get eaten by some bacteria, <coughs> cancer, something, some amoeba, slugs, something's gonna eat you eventually. So knowing that, and you know that's true, right? You know that eventually you're going to get eaten by something in the ground or in the water or something, wherever you get dumped. So knowing that is true, why wouldn't you wanna do something like vibrant with your life? Like go out today and do something that's like, it doesn't have to be like Las Vegas, okay? All it has to be is something that's valuable and not damaging to the rest of the world. Now think about that. that, that might take some effort because there are so many things that humans have created that's like, ah, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that later. We'll just deal with that here, throw it out. We'll deal with it later. Is there any way that we could do things a little bit more consciously, for God's sakes? Hey, Jason. Oh, good, good. So, Jason, I'm going to tell you, those of you that are watching right now, Jason Carlson has decided to take life and do just that, like to work on his health. So he bought a bunch of my products and he's doing the work. He, he bought some, I think he bought some rollers from Lana Roller. And he's been doing the work on his body. And when you do the work on your body, you have to do the other works too. And so he's taking this like seriously because he cares about himself. That's really the bottom line here. You have to care about yourself. When you start consuming good quality foods, Foods that have color. Look at the foods. That, that's really one of the biggest keys here with eating. Does the food have color? So the foods that have color are fruits and vegetables. Real color. Now, some of you might say, meat has color. Because <laughs> so meat is red. If you want to be extreme and aggressive, then that's what you do. You consume red foods. You have to educate yourself and learn about the different colors of life and what they represent. And red re represents aggressiveness. And so it's best to move away and not consume too many red things. What you want to eat is more and more green things. Orange is okay as a substitute for red because that's the next one in the spectrum. And so you might consume more squash and carrots. And, and, and orange is the color of sex, <laughs> the second chakra. And I don't always know how they figured out all these different color schematics. But in any case, Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Yes, tomorrow I'll be talking about all of the things that I have written down throughout the day today while I'm making millet hole pillows. I'll be sewing millet hole pillows. See all the material over there on the massage table? I have work to do. And I'll be doing something that most people would consider boring. 
just sitting there and sewing all day. But, you know, I get my time doing the live streams, and I missed it a lot when I wasn't able to do it. But, you know, I'll be writing down all of the different things. Okay, so I've already written down two things here. Now look who's in hiding. What does that mean? Read posts on Facebook. What does that mean? We know what that means. So that means that I'll be reading the things that I've been writing down on Facebook. And anybody that wants to friend me on Facebook can just go to Facebook and, and look me up, Brett Rogers, and then you can pre-read them before I even read them on the live thing. But um, in any case, thanks for joining me, everybody. I got to get back to sewing. If you want to get one of my pillows and sleep better and not worry so much about all of the yada yada, then you should focus on what you do best today and do that. That's it. Jason's going to be lifting boxes and moving them for his business. And then he's going to be doing some massage and stretching. Right, Jason? Yes. And I hope that you all are doing constructive things too. Constructive things that aren't damaging to our environment, uh, not damaging to our ethical mindsets and all kinds of good food that you're eating today. I'm, I've already got some soup made and I've got some organic range-free locally grown eggs and I've got some quinoa made and uh, I've got some apples, blah, blah, blah. But my fridge is like really getting low, so I'm going to have to go shopping soon. Anyways, I'm just rambling on. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.